Welcome to Real Filmmaking. My name is Corey Tyndall, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get some awesome looking video out of your Canon 60D combined with Magic Lantern and shooting raw video. Now, I've talked a lot about Magic Lantern on this channel. I've made a couple videos before. I think Magic Lantern is some of the best aftermarket software that you can put on an older Canon DSLR camera that really helps to unlock the potential of these cameras, particularly in regards to filmmaking. But one of the things that so many people talk about with Magic Lantern is how it unlocks a camera's capability to actually shoot raw video. And this is something I hadn't really looked into a ton before. Now, before I get any further, I just wanna do a quick kind of overview of what raw video is, or just the concept of raw video or photos in general. The idea behind a raw video or a raw image is that your camera is taking in the data and processing it in the most minimal way possible. So that means it's just taking in the information and it's not tweaking things like contrast or trying to process it or trying to heavily compress it, which is what happens a lot when our cameras are shooting photo and video. When we shoot in RAW, we bypass a lot of what the camera is trying to do internally, and so we get a really flat, pliable image, particularly in regards to you know, shadows and highlights and dynamic range. There's a lot of flexibility of what you can do with these photos and videos. So raw video is just something that I hadn't really ever explored. The main reason being that to shoot raw video, you tend to have to get more expensive cameras and it's just something that's just not in my budget. But like I said, Magic Lantern unlocks capabilities of older cameras to shoot in raw. And so, you know, with some of the extra time I had on my hand, I was like, why not just, you know, load up Magic Lantern on my 60D and just see what happens. And <laughs> it was quite an experience. I will let the images speak for themselves. Wow, right? I honestly, when I first saw some of this footage, like my jaw just hit the floor. I have been shooting with the Canon 60D for over three years now. It was the camera that got me into videography and photography. I know how to expose it and get a really good image with this camera. When I saw the raw footage and I was able to grade it and like export it to a final video, when I saw that, I just was in shock because it feels like this camera that I know so much about that I've learned that I feel like I've mastered in so many ways had this other secret up its sleeve. I want to show you now how you can use Magic Lantern and the raw MLV recording to get some awesome looking videos. So you're going to want to make sure you have Magic Lantern installed on your SD card and you're just going to pop that into your Canon 60D. If you need help with learning how to get that done, I created another video. I will throw a card up and a link in the description so you can figure that out and then come back to this video. So we boot up the 60D and we see the Magic Lantern OS come up and we're gonna wanna hit the trash can icon. We're gonna actually wanna go all the way over here to the modules tab. Now the modules control the different specific things in Magic Lantern related to raw video, some of the way the camera processes data and things like that. And before you can shoot raw video, you have to make sure to turn these on. So right now you can see that I have four turned on. I've got MLV light, so you're gonna wanna just hit the okay button and turn that on. You're gonna hit MLV play so you can play back the clips that you take video of. MLV record, which allows your camera to record raw video and MLV sound if you want sound in your video. So you're gonna hit okay on all of those. Your camera will say it will load those on next restart. So just shut off your camera, turn it back on. And then when you turn it back on, you should be in this screen and you should see this little icon right here that says raw. That's how you know that you're shooting in raw video. Once you see all of the MLV modules have loaded after you've restarted your camera, you're gonna to wanna to navigate back over to the movie tab 
and we're gonna wanna go over here and make sure FPS override is set to 24 frames per second or the 23.97. But the main thing we wanna look at is raw video. So we hit the Q button and we want the resolution to be 1728 by 736, which is a little higher than standard HD, but it's not full HD. And this is where one of the problems of the Canon 60D I'll talk about a little bit later. Raw video, it cannot handle um, a high bit rate and a high full resolution file, but you can still get something that looks really nice. You're gonna wanna go and set the aspect ratio to whatever you want it. I usually do two uh, three by five by one. It kind of gives you that letterbox look. And now we're ready to record something. So let's say I wanna take some video of this nice little light here. I'm gonna hit my record button. You'll see it says prepare. And then you'll see in the top right corner, the write speed and the second count. So it usually maxes out about 10 seconds. Frame skipped, stopping. At this point, the video is done. And the camera is processing what it just recorded. You'll see this kind of blue buffer here. That's indicating the buffer and it writing to the card. And then you'll hear a beep and it will be done. And there you go, you have recorded raw video. So I think the biggest pro of shooting raw video with the Canon 60D is it just looks amazing. Frankly, like I said, I was shocked that the images coming out of this camera looked this good. There's so much more detail in everything, like, you know, in the blades of grass and the flowers, the dynamic range of the camera is vastly improved from just what you're getting out of the box. So while those are great pros and honestly, like the video looks so good. And like I said, I just, it's hard for me to believe that there are some downsides to shooting raw with Magic Lantern and the 60D. So from all the research I've been able to do, the main cameras that get utilized for Magic Lantern raw video tend to be the 5D Mark III, the 5D Mark II, and the 70D and the 6D. Those cameras have higher write speeds to their SD cards or their CFAS cards, which means that the buffer doesn't fill up as quickly, and that means they can record raw video continuously or even the higher resolutions for a longer time. And the problem with the 60D is it only has a max write speed of 20 megabits per second, which means the buffer fills up pretty quick, and even at the highest resolution, you will max out at about 10, 11 seconds, maybe on the long side. So this poses problems if you want to use this for like filmmaking, like narrative filmmaking, because a lot of the time those takes tend to be, you know, way longer than just a 10 second take. Another con is gonna be your workflow. The workflow with raw video is just so much more complicated than just shooting it and like pulling it into your editing software. Nowadays, there are a couple apps, like there's MLB app, which greatly reduces some of that, and you're able to pull it into MLB app and look through your footage and do a lot of the correction there, and then export those files, and then take those files and move them into your editing software. So it's a multi-step process. Um, you know, whether you use MLV app or you use another thing, you're going to have to take those MLV files, that is how Magic Lantern encodes them, and you're going to have to decode them into something else, whether it be a DNG file and stitch them all together um, in something like Photoshop and then take it over to Premiere or Final Cut, or there's a number of other ways people have done it, but regardless, it's going to make your workflow substantially longer. Who do I think raw video on the Canon 60D is specifically for. If you have a 60D, if you have Magic Lantern, if you like playing around with it, I think it can be a great thing to just experiment and dip your toes into the world of raw video. People who would specifically use this, I think if you do a lot of product videography, if you do a lot of cinematic B-roll, this is a great option for you. Because if you're working in those styles of filmmaking, you tend to have shorter takes of things. You can function by getting a 10 or an 11 second take of, you know, a new piece of camera gear or some piece of nature like a tree or a flower. You're able to maximize the highest resolution that the Canon 60D can record in raw video. So I think if you do one of those styles of videography, shooting in raw can be a great 
addition and benefit to you if you are willing to adjust your workflow and post to make that happen. There's lots of places and forums online where you can find more information about that. But hopefully as 60D users, I, there wasn't a ton that I could find. And so I wanted to make this video to help you get started with how to shoot raw and just some of the benefits and uh, some of the amazing results that you can achieve with raw video. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel, leave me a like. If you are gonna shoot raw, if you got Canon 60D, you got Magic Lantern, you're gonna shoot raw, I would love to see some of your results. I would love to hear some of your thoughts. Put them down in the comments. And as always, keep making movies and watching movies, and I'll see you on Real Filmmaking.